Hi everyone, this is Odd Samurai and today I'm gonna be reacting to One Piece chapter 1069. So yeah, I don't know anything about this chapter other than um, we're gonna be talking about Devil Fruits and we're gonna follow up on uh, Luffy and Luchi seeing each other again. That's about it. Though I did hear the uh, unofficial translation is not like super accurate but I mean I, I'm already here I don't want to wait another week just to uh, just read the chapter so I mean I'm gonna read the official one anyways tomorrow so yeah I'm gonna be doing this uh, just the Saturdays so if you see me like uh, Friday or Thursday that the chapter comes out, it's gonna be on Saturday, at least for the time being. So without further ado, let's just do this. Uh, the title of the chapter is We Owe All There Is To Desire. And we have the, the cover story with uh, it, says, it says, a philanthropic endeavor of Lone Shark King Lufeld Matt, the Laboratory of Peace. I don't know what this is supposed to mean, to be honest. How is Lufeld or Dufeld uh, connected to Matt? Yeah, I know he's one of the underworld uh, bosses that were introduced in Whole Cake Island. Yeah, yeah. I just don't understand how he fits into whatever was happening with Judge and Caesar. Okay, starting the chapter properly. Egghead in chaos. Yeah, they got Do Dr. Atlas. Intruders, why is Cypherpool doing this? And then we have Jinbe, Chopper, standing in front of Luchi and the Sukuma Seraphim with. Uh, Luffy carrying Bonnie on his shoulder. Eee, it's Rob Lucci! They're really after Vegapunk? What are you doing here, pigeon guy? You realize this is a government island. Cuckoo! Oh yeah, I guess we're the ones out of place here. Luffy, let's hurry and head up. Deary me, the Straw Hat Pirates, and it looks like they're with Jewelry Bunny. Well, that's... Bad Luchi, we cannot lay a hand on them. Astro has officially an emperor now. We cannot engage me engage him without orders. Okay. <laughs> so that's how we're doing this, huh? You know what? That's fair. Uh I'm okay with this. I, I, I mean it makes sense. Uh, because <clears throat> Rimble was an an exception. He was going after no, I'm sorry, he was going against the rules. Uh to go after Luffy. But here it's like, no, I mean, if we weren't uh, involving ourselves directly against Kaido or Big Mom or any other Yonko, we cannot do that against Luffy now. So I respect it. Look after Bonnie Jimbe. Oh, that's right. Emperors have considerable backing behind them. In a small tiff can flare up into an all-out war. Contact the Navy. Yes, ma'am. Hey. Oh, it's her! Oh, he already saw Atlas down, huh? The kid from before, this is awful! Well, uh, Luchi said she was still breathing, whatever that means. I'm aware of the consequences. That's it. Chopper, do what you can for her. I'll try, but I think this is more Frankie's forte. That's right, I don't think Chopper can do anything. This is not a human. It needs more fixing rather than healing. Keep out of this, it's government business. That kid gave us food! I knew, I knew that Luffy was gonna, was not gonna be able to just ignore whatever CP0 was doing because of this. And it seems like Luchi is not pleased about this either. Oh, we're changing to Navy HQ. The straw hat pirates are an egghead? What the hell? Things keep getting messier. Is Vegapunk onto CP0? Afraid so, they had to force their way in. 
You would think those brats would consult me before declaring war. Those brats? I'm not sure who he means. If Vegapunk has got a deal with Straw Hat, that's a major blow to our military superiority. Where's Kisaru? He's already left for Akena's plant? Oh, oh, wait, now that's... <laughs> that's actually, actually a problem. He's going to Egghead. Mm. Tell Lucha to wait for the Marines to arrive. Yes, sir. Okay. Well, I think he he, fo he would follow orders. He's not to engage a straw hat under any circumstances. See, maybe it's the... See, I don't know what Kak Akainu means, those brats. I think he means CP0, but I don't think CP0... Uh answer to the fleet admiral and what he the, what does he mean by declaring war yeah i'm not sure what he means by this and i don't think he's talking about the vegapunk satellites either i don't know like that's why i'm re, re yeah, that's why i'm reading this chapter tomorrow okay new world whoa why wait luffy don't start yet You'd better be sure you want to do this, Luffy. They'll consider this a ma major incident. Oh boy, is he already starting a fight? What the heck? Did that Luchi guy always look like that? Oh, did they never see him? I know for sure. Na yeah, Nami and Soro uh, and Frankie, I think, have seen him in his leopard, leopard film form. So it could be Usopp and Sanji saying that? What a speed, this is a rare sight. Most awakened Suan powers tend to overwhelm the user's mind, but this... You're not the only one who's gotten a stronger straw hat. Whoa, never mind, I don't think they meant it just have turned into a leopard. It has to be an awakened Suan. Yeah, okay. Cat cat food model leopard, awakened form. Let's just stand down, we still don't have permission. Mm. So Luch is going after him anyways. Shaka, is he on screen? The white war warrior? Wow, it's the real Vegapunk. How did he get up here so fast? <laughs> oh, that's kind of cute. Frankie has hard eyes for him. But also, it's interesting that he knows exactly how the real Vegapunk looks. Uh, you wouldn't happen to know the story behind Straw Hat's transformation. Do tell. We're not really sure, to be honest. Isn't it one of his gum gum powers? Mm. What do you mean? Oh, shit! He went into gear 5th? I, I I was thinking about it, but I wasn't sure, and I looked at the next page. Oh shit, it's a double spread. Yeah, not, not every straw hat. God damn it. Tor isn't here to see it here either. He was completely out, I think, in Wano. Uh, okay, that's funny. You see, there's no mention of any gum gum fruit in the old devil fruit encyclopedia. No worries, you gonna tell the straw hats what Luffy's. Actually, what's the actual name of his brute? What? I mean, you say that, but that's what Luffy's always called it. How so blind? He looks just like that god described described in the ancient text. God? Are you saying no? That's just Luffy. I speak of the warrior of liberation whose antics could bring a smile to anyone's lips, also known as the sun god Nika. And Luffy's just laughing his ass off. Nika, I've never heard of that name. Naturally, it's been wiped from history. And of course, Vegapunk would know. And yet, as long as people's desires exist, such a thing will never cease to be. Nice. I really like this panel. Just Luffy's eyes just coming out of his skull. <laughs> Looking at Luchi. We owe all there is to desire. Hmm, interesting way to put that. <laughs> I, I really like just how we're seeing just the cartoony nature of 
year fifth again against Luchi. <laughs> Just how he's dodging all of Luchi's attacks. It, it is interesting that no one's noticing basically that um, Luchi's awakened form and Luffy's, they look kind of similar from the thing that they have around their body. The Devil Fruits. Huh? Devil Fruits, as we call them, appear to manifest a desired, ne a desired next step in the potential evolution of light. Oh, evolution? Gee, I wish I could do X, or only if we could do Y. Fruit powers actually actualize such wishes. Each one showcases a different possibility for the future of humanity. These deviations are, of course, unnatural, so it makes sense that they interact, that they attract the ire of ma Mother Nature. The sea itself, one who has eaten a fruit, lives a totally alien existence, born out of limitless permutation of imagination. So you're telling me that not just Luffy's fruit, but all of the fruits came from humanity's desires and wishes? That's how I'm taking this. Granted, I mean, it, I mean, I, I was gonna say like just because a character says it doesn't mean it's a hundred percent correct. But this is Vegapunk. This is the, the the most intelligent character in the series, so he must be right. So basically, there's no scientific explanation behind the fruits. It's more of a uh of a nature natural phenomenon this is this is great bro i've always wanted to know just just what exactly those fruits are and you know how they work and i love this kind of shit <laughs> that's my theory at least oh well it seemed like shaka got that from him whether you believe there's a god out there or not one thing is for sure we live in a wondrous world. And it is interesting that the reaction we get are from Sanji, Frankie, and Usopp. And they both look, not both, all three of them look quite shocked. Ahahaha. Whoa. This is supposed to be my day off. What do you want, Grandpa Punk? Also, oh, that's why Santamaru wasn't just around the island. Or just specifically around Vegapunk. Because it's his day off. Uh, this seems kind of dry. Sufferable is on our side. Pirates are the enemy. So I just gotta back up CP0, right? No, dumbass. You get the situation completely wrong. Ah, okay, here we go. Not quite, Santomaru. The CP0 agents are actually after my life. Huh? Sorry to spring this on you, but can you chase them off? Wait, wouldn't that make me a traitor? This is this is the moment of truth, Sentomaru. Choose who um, who you're more you're loyal to, the Marines or the doctor that you've that you've been tasked with uh, protecting for at least over two years. True, that is a big decision. Never mind me, Sentomaru. I only took you in when you were starving. Please do whatever feels right. <laughs> okay. Twist my arm, why don't you? <laughs> right? Guilting him, basically. This will be tricky. He's got three seraphims. Esber, take one out. It's no use, Kaku. We're at a handicap here. Esber, get rid of those suits. Beep beep. Fiddlesticks. <laughs> what? I forget that his orders trump the authority chip we have. Yeah! And then Esber starts using the... The Kisaru laser. Yeah, the command hierarchy for the pacifista is in our, in our favor. Besides, they cannot take orders via transport their snail. Pacifista command hierarchy. The five elders, Dr. Pegapunk, uh, Stella and Satellites, Sentomaru, anyone with an authority chip. Interesting. This is the news. So it's not like the five elders can help. Interesting. I did not expect the, uh, the Seraphim's 
uh, you have this kind of command hierarchy and then five elders being the ones at the very top. But I mean, this is smart. Cause just think of it, destroying one of those gizmos would be a big loss for the government. Would it kill you to look before you leave, Luchi? Gomu gomu no! Mole pistol! Bam! No? Oh. To be honest with you all, uh, Luchi <laughs> it has really lasted way more than I thought he would. But he was in an awakened form, so I'm, I'll give him credit for that. Let's move as snake. Let's destroy heads to the backing rocket and see them safely through the frontier dome. A Santa Manu and Orsaidi. At least in Vegapunks. As Hulk, as Shark, surprise CP0. Chopper, are my eyes playing tricks on me? I thought he looked familiar. Those brown guys look like ex warlords. Don't tell me they clone those. Oh, yeah, cool. We're actually gonna see Jinbei's reaction to his own clone. Younger clone. Uh, oh, Battle Axe, long time no see. <laughs> That's his nickname for Santa Mario. Don't just nickname me based on my weapon, Straw Hat. We're not friends. Actually, are you really gonna help escape? Are you really gonna help Grandpa Punk escape? That's kind of cute that Santa Mario calls <laughs> Mega Punk uh, Grandpa. Kind of like he does with Tisaro calling him, uh, calling him uncle. Yeah, he asked me. Don't sweat it. I'm not sure I can trust you, but you do respect him. You're an emperor after all, and what's with your appearance? Uh, haven't you seen the new uh, wanted posters? He looks like that on them. It's too much to explain to you right now. Well, handgun! Oh shit! Yo, Santo- No, no way! Santo Mario just got taken out? Ruthlessly efficient. Battle axe! Ugh. All we had to do is cut the head of the snake. Now set of him. Obey us. Oh boy. And there's a break next week. Mm. You know what this looks like for, for me pretty well. So a lot a lot happened that uh, I didn't expect. But this was a, a really great chapter. Uh, definitely a I liked it a lot more than the last one, uh, 1068. Um, for one, easily, uh, Vegapunk's uh, quote-unquote theory about uh, the Wolfrits was just what I wanted for the longest time. And even though, uh, you know, so, uh, it's just a theory, you know, I mean, it could be, it could not be. It's most likely that's what it is. I mean, if we're ever gonna get an explanation on Devil Fruits and, you know, what they are and how they came to be, it would be from this guy. So, I'm taking it and I'm going off with it. Secondly, we saw Luffy again on Gear 5th form and that's awesome I just I yeah I remember when I first uh, read it and I wasn't sure how I felt about it it just felt too silly for me but the more time has passed I, I just I really liked it and it just it fits too well even if uh, just aesthetics wise I still like your fourth more I just I love the uh, the sentiment behind this um, but yeah, I really liked also just Santo Maru's appearance and just seeing him just be like, uh, do you want me to turn traitor? And like, okay, fine, then I will do it for you. And then his little interaction with Luffy, only to get taken out at the end and Luffy get, getting up angry over it, which I, I'm still, I don't... Yeah, I I don't know if what 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 is Oda's plan for Luchi to be honest. I expected him to not even last a full chapter against Luffy in this form. 
Um, but I don't know, maybe Luffy is not taking it as seriously as, a, as I thought he would be. But he definitely stopped smiling, I feel like, sooner than he did with, um, with Kaido. So that's interesting. <clears throat> but yeah, uh, this was pretty good. I definitely didn't expect Luchi to have gained an awakened form. But it makes sense, and you would need at least that to keep up with Luffy. And also, I also expected him to just say, well, did I? Uh, I'm not sure. It could go other ways with Luchi. Uh, because just of how bloodthirsty he is, just to, you know, have someone to fight with, he would just be like, uh, screw the, the orders, the, the, the rules. I'll just do whatever the hell I want, even if the higher-ups have said that I cannot do this. Even though back when he was in CP9, he would have still follow the rules. Mm. I don't know. Uh, I'm 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 in, I'm interesting with I'm interested in seeing how what's gonna happen with Luchi in the next few chapters. Because I, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I was never a fan of Luchi back when I first watched um, uh, any Slobby. I just found him a, a very bo boring villain. Like there, there was nothing about him that, that, that really just hooked me. So yeah, hopefully that, that will change. Uh, but yeah, if you enjoyed my reaction, please like and subscribe. Until next time, see ya.